Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to add wallpapers onto walls in Photoshop. And also we will dive deeper into creating wallpapers using patterns, making selection using a pen tool, using vanishing point, changing of blending modes, applying curves, and creating clipping masks. So let's get started! So here in our document, I prepare here an image of this bedroom and our goal here is to apply design as a wallpaper onto the walls. So the first step we're going to do here is we're going to make a selection onto the walls with the use of a pen tool. So to do that, going onto the toolbar, find the pen tool. It's over here. This is how it looks like. Or just press P for the shortcut key. From the options on top, make sure that it's selected on paths. All right, so let's start creating selection. So let me zoom this one in and press P for the pen tool, and let's start creating. Let's, let's start the point from here. Now, once we already created this path with this pen tool, now I'm going to right click on one point of it and then choose make selection. So from the feather radius, I'm just going to set this one into one pixels and then hit OK. All right. So once I did that, look at that. It created a selection onto the walls. Now let's create a layer of this wallpaper of its own by pressing Ctrl plus J. All right. So once I did that, I already have a layer of this wall. Okay. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. Going back, now the next step we're going to do here is we're going to create a wallpaper using patterns. So to do that, from this image that I prepared, yes, actually this is for making wallpaper, I'm going to, once we are on this document, now I'm going to edit and then choose define pattern. So I'm going to, Save this one as our wallpaper, right? And then hit OK, right? And let's create a new document. So let's go to the menu bar, go to File, and select New. All right, so from here, from the width, I'm going to set this one to 2000, from the height to 500, all right? So for the resolution, I'll just set this one to 380, no more changes, okay? And then make sure that it's all pixels, all right? So once set, select create the next step here is i'm going to the adjustment layer icon here at the right bottom corner of the screen yeah select on this at the adjustment layer icon and then choose pattern so th this pattern fill the dialog box will appear so i'm going to click this arrow down next to this thumbnail and then choose the one that we just saved all right it's this one okay and then for the scale i'm gonna set this one to 30 percent Right, so once I did that, it created pattern on our wallpaper. Now, once all set, hit OK. All right, now next up here is we're going to rasterize this pattern fill for us to copy the image. So, to do that, right click on that pattern fill layer and then choose rasterize layer. Now, once it's set, now I'm going to press Ctrl and click and on this thumbnail of this pattern fill. Now, once we already have this selection, let's copy it by pressing Ctrl plus C. Now we already copied that. Now let's go back to our original document. Okay. And now from this layer, I'm going to hide this one for now. And then let's create a new layer. Let's go to the create new layer icon. This one, click on this. Let's rename this layer as wallpaper. All right. So once you're selected on that wallpaper layer, now I'm going to the menu bar go to filter and find vanishing point okay so actually there are already grid lines that it's already done here so let me just remove this for me to show you how i create that okay so first thing i'm going to go to the zoom tool i'm going to zoom this one out by pressing alt hold it and then click and another click all right so why do i zoom this one out all right so for us to create a proper grid lines for this wall on the left side Okay, so let's go back there and let's create a plane tool. Okay, so selected on that, let's create a point from this corner over here. Okay, this one, click on this. And from the other corner down over here, click on it. And here, 
let's say the other corner on top is around here okay and that's this is the reason why i zoom this one out okay there are now i already created this plane moving on i'm going to also add another plane behind the bed okay so to do that i'm going to press control hold it and from this point i'm going to click and drag it this okay see all right so let's gonna fix this one from this point here Thing from what I imagine, corner is over here. All right, and also to the other side from the left wall, let's create a perspective, press control, and click and drag this point going here. All right, so there you have it. There's something like this, so just click and drag this one moving up, something like that. Okay, now that's way better for me. Now let's zoom this one in. So now let's paste the wallpaper that we just copied a while ago. So to do that, all I have to do is to press Control plus V. Okay, now there you have it. All right, so now I'm going to click and drag this one onto the perspective that we just created. All right, so see what happens. Okay, so as you have noticed here, um, it's not yet enough to fill in the entire perspective. So to do that, all I have to do is to press Control plus T for the transformation command. So once these points are out, I'm going to click and drag this one to fill this one up okay so make sure that's all filled all right so once all set hit okay now next step here is change the blend mode of this wallpaper layer so with that wallpaper layer selected i'm going to click on this point here for the blending options and then change it to multiply okay there you are so as you have noticed here that the designs or the patterns are also onto the bed so this is the reason why we created a selection onto the walls. So I'm going to press control and then click on the thumbnail of this layer, right? This one, okay. And then with that wallpaper layer selected, let's create a layer mask. So just click on this point, okay. All right, there you have it. Now that looks real. The next step here is we're going to add curves. So from this wallpaper layer selected, I'm going to the adjustment layer icon click on that and then choose curves under the histogram i'm going to create a point from here and then click and drag this one for the patterns to be more visible okay and then from this curves layer right click on that and then choose create clipping mask okay now the next step here under the wallpaper layer right click on that and then choose blending options okay so Go here at the underlying layer from the highlight slider over here. I'm going to press L and click to I'm going to click the other half of this slider and move it. And as you have noticed, look at that. The light is getting brighter. That looks more natural. Now hit OK. So there you have it. Now let me show you the before and after. So this one is the before. And that is how to add wool papers onto walls in Photoshop.